welcome to the Den of Debauchery. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Den of Debauchery podcast. Uh, I'm Yale Reams. With me, as always, is Derek Stock. And this time, we actually have uh, a couple guests that have never been on before. So, uh, welcome, guys. Yeah. Well, welcome, you, uh, welcome, Jordan, and other person that we will refer to as Junior. Junior. And, that, and he is keeping his full name anonymous, which I think is a good decision based on some of the stories that he plans to tell today. Because, dear God, just reading the description has me actually scared to sit in this room with you. But <laughs> we're, I say we quit wasting time and jump right into it. What was, uh, what was the first thing that you wanted to tell, man? Well, this is more about a, a friend of ours, a mutual friend of ours, right? Yes, definitely. It was a good time. Uh, we were back in high school in these days. Okay. And me and my buddy, we'd always hang out. Uh, you guys want me to say his name, or you can use first name. First name. And first so name's me only. and my buddy. His name was Jake. Um, good what's, his, what's his name now? Um, I think <laughs> he still goes by Jake. Oh, okay. Still goes by it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but you know, we always get fucked up and have a really good time. And he liked this girl, and this girl was named Haley, and she was like a fucking goddess. Like, I'm talking. I mean. Like one of those hippie girls you see at one of those like 1975 parties, she's amazing. Am hey, I right? Just so you know, though, I can't wait. We I can't wait till she hears this. Hey, just so you know, she's never going to hear this. <laughs> so you're 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 complimenting someone that's never yeah. going to listen. But yeah. I just wanted to paint the picture. By the way, for, in case you ever hear this, I just wanted to say you're a fucking goddess and I worship you. <laughs> I want, I'll drink your fucking bathwater. <laughs> oh, shall I let you shit on my chest? No. Yeah. Um, tasty but i just wanted to paint the picture for all the listeners okay, out so there so it was worth whatever he's about to go through right yes yes okay. so we're all hanging out we're getting drunk and having a really fucking good time you know doing shit what kids should do before you know they grow up and be adults get it out of your system we're hanging out <laughs> we're hanging out in her basement she has like this crazy ass fucking stepdad who i think probably touches her but who knows Again, okay. all right. <laughs> what? Good what? thing we're calling you him Junior. You don't. You don't just get to gloss past that statement like you didn't make it and be like, "I think he touches he her." But anyway, did. moving on. What evidence do you no, have that supports let's that? Let's not even get into yeah. this. That is, <laughs> Hold on. It has that zero could be a merit. Whole no, yeah, there was zero merit to it. Yeah, that's it just it gives you that, that creepy vibe. You're just, you're just, just blindly you accusing somebody of child molesting <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I guess that sounds pretty bad. Don't <laughs> exactly. You're not thinking about. You're thinking about. All right, I'll you. take that. Yeah, I'll take that back. I don't. I never seen. There's no evidence of that. I'm never. I was never there either. I did not film it. I just yeah. want the record to reflect that I was not there. <laughs> I recant I, I my not, statement. I, I do not recall, Your Honor. I do not recall. There'll, this be, time. A, there'll be a lot. Of I do not recall at the end of all these stories. <laughs> so. So we're hanging out in this basement, and we're having a great time. You know, I liked the girl, too. Like, I wanted to do things with her, too, but I got beat to the point with my buddy Jake. I wasn't fighting it because I had that arrogance of, oh, fuck, she ain't going to be into him. All right, whatever. Let him fuck up. So she's totally into him, so I was totally wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're sitting there, and it's getting later in the night, and this is when the good shit happened. So I'm sleeping on this other fucking couch that's a little bit away from him. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I really wish I was on that fucking pull-out couch because there's some fun things going on there. Right, and, and Jake, ca- ain't pu- Jake ain't pulling out. Yeah, yeah. He ain't the pulling couch out. is the that's only right. thing that's pulling out. Yeah, yeah that's right. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they were, like, inserting or whatever. They were under a blanket, but they were <laughs> definitely <laughs> what, inserting. What a great term. <laughs> yeah. to, I don't know if they were, like, penetrating or, like, what they were doing. If they were doing Insert. insertion. insertion. This is amazing, Jimmy. If they were engaging in coitus, I'm not really sure. So... But shit was moving underneath the blanket, so I know they were doing something. And then you start hearing that. Oh, is this is this is right that in the microphone? Stop! Well, yeah, you hear. That's what I'm hearing. 
I just I'm letting you guys get in that moment with me. So, so okay, close so this your is eyes what you're listening to. And just <laughs> get in that everybody, moment. Everybody, close your eyes and listen you're to in his a pussy cold, noises. Cold basement. And no, it was you're a, making up. <laughs> it was a nice fall evening. <laughs> I've never been less hard. <laughs> but no, so we're down there and we're hanging out on this couch and. I'm start- you don't get turned on by cold basements? <laughs> I'm starting to go, you know, to sleep. I can't come in anything above 60 degrees. And sh- they have this pet cat, and it's like a little tiny kitten. And the mom said, if you guys are going to be down in the basement, watch out for kittens. I don't know why they called it kittens. It's, it was a kitten, but her name was kittens. You ever named a cat after it? Like it's, you, it's you get smaller a puppy form. and call it a fucking puppies? Hey, that's puppies. Yeah, that's puppies. We're, get, we're getting way off track. Yeah, yeah. It's anyway, a cat. there's Versus a cat, cat, and it's a tiny little one. And she said, watch out for it. You know, don't fucking kill it. You step on it, you'll, you know, you'll kill it. We're like, all right, whatever. So I did not know that that warning was needed. Yeah. <laughs> right, but it yeah. definitely was. So Don't murder the cat, please. Thank you. So he's fucking doing his thing, and all of a sudden I hear this, boom. This fucking thump. He falls off okay. the couch. Okay. Haley doesn't move. Was so, she sleeping or she just didn't Well, care at this they... point, I think they were both sleeping. Okay. And he, there's a small couch, so he rolls off and you hear the thump. So I kind of wake up and I hear Jake down there going, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. And he starts, oh, fuck. Junior. Junior. And I go, what? And he's like, dude. Dude, and I go, dude, what? And he goes, I think I killed Kitten. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, no, you fucking didn't. And he goes, yeah. He fell off the couch. So and I'm the looking. Cat. He smashed the cat. He yeah. smashed the cat. He smashed his fucking ass, smashed the cat. Now, it was such a hard impact that you did not hear the cat have a last word. It did not scream out. It nothing. He smothered it so, in Christ. So I get up and I go over there to look at it. Like, where is Kittens? Like, whole fuck, Haley's going to be pissed. I mean, that's her favorite pet. <laughs> so the cat's not there anymore. I go, where'd you put it? He goes, I stuffed it under the couch. <laughs> I go, no, you did. He goes, yeah. And you see this blood trail of this fucking cat underneath this couch. I say, pull it out. I want to fucking see it. And he uh, grabs a little tail, uh, slides it out, and I'm like, oh my god, I wanted to puke. At this time, uh, Haley's still not up. And her cat's still sound asleep dead. <laughs> sound asleep dead. <laughs> so sound he's asleep like, sleep dead. He's like going to get bleach or something. Do we need to clean this up? I go, I ain't. We, we ain't cleaning nothing up, dude. You killed the cat. You go clean up, and then I'm going to climb, to go then I'm gonna climb yeah. in on that couch and get my time. <laughs> but, so... The cat was just murdered. You're yeah. still thinking about getting your yeah. dick wet. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He was in high school. You yeah. just witnessed a murder. <laughs> so he killed this cat. Oh, my God. And still to this day, oh it, my eats, God. It's eats at him. You don't like it being brought up. Oh. But he took a life away of that kitten. <laughs> he took now, a life away. when he shoved it underneath Wait, the couch. it still had eight left, though, right? Supposedly, but his weight must have just killed all eight. <laughs> all nine, <laughs> well, yeah. all just, it went through all nine. All nine lives, Fuck. yeah. So, Poor kittens. It got pushed under. There's a blood trail. So he's trying to keep cover it up and put some shit on it. And next thing I know, he gets back on the couch. So instead of waking her up and telling her, hey, we have a problem. He knew that she would be so pissed at him that he would get kicked out. So he continued just to lay there like nothing ever fucking happened. Oh, so Jesus I'm laying Christ. on my couch smiling, Jesus laughing, because I can't wait till the morning comes. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a dead cat, but it's got to fucking smell at some point. Yeah. So we're down there. We wake up. She's looking for this fucking cat. Because <laughs> she knew it was in the basement. She knew it was. We all knew it was. Where is it? I don't know, Haley. I, the last time I seen the cat, it was hanging out over there by that couch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? You ratted his ass out. Jake's like, oh, it's, I, I didn't see the cat over here. I don't know where it is. No, cat's not over here. It's definitely not over here. <laughs> Might look anywhere else, anywhere other than this. So, he's got his foot over the blood stain. Like, no, definitely not over here. So he's like, dude, we got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> well, at this time, remember that the stepdad I told you about? 
The one that touches her. Yeah. <laughs> Alleged, allegedly. Allegedly. Right. No, not even no, allegedly. No, not alleged. No. Alleged by you and yeah, no one else. Yeah, she didn't get touched. <laughs> yeah. He's a good dude. I, just, I don't know what I'm saying. But he walks downstairs and he has a gun in his hand because he didn't know we were downstairs. At no point did Haley tell them other than the mom and the mom didn't tell him because he would get pissed. So oh he God. didn't know. So when he came downstairs, he noticed a blood stain on the floor. Now, what goes through your mind if you're the stepdad and your daughter's down there with two dudes, by the way, and you see a blood stain on the floor? Right. Now, she's 15, Dang right. 16 years old. So you're thinking, I mean, my mind goes, you know, did she lose her identity? Is this her first time? There's fucking blood on the floor. What the fuck? Right? Ends up being the trail. He finds it, pulls the cat out. Haley's bawling. Everybody's crying. We're trying to get the fuck out of there. She wants an explanation. What happened to kittens? To kittens. <laughs> we couldn't tell her. And then Jake. What happened to kittens? Jake finally just said, All right, I'm sorry. I rolled off. Didn't know the cat was there. And I smashed it. And then I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to wake anybody up. So I pushed it underneath the couch uh. and think it would go away. And we're all like, no, dude, the cat ain't going away, dude. <laughs> I just I just hoped it would fade away. I just hoped it would dissolve. dissolve. Yeah, if he was smart, he should have just fuck we should have left then and threw the cat out oh, the window. Oh, you should have left right, right away. You should have left right away. Wait, you didn't leave right then? No, no we he... stayed the rest oh, of the night. Oh, I'm sorry. You meant he should have left as soon as the cat oh, was smashed. Yeah. yeah. And oh, we should have yeah, took yeah. the evidence with us and then ditched it out in the field somewhere. For sure. That's yeah. What should have happened. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, but I don't know if you would have just left a blood trail and the cat's missing and you guys disappeared in the middle of the night. That looks like serial killer shit. Yeah, I don't know if that's better. <laughs> At least they wouldn't True. have to explain it. Yeah. Well, that's to the, me, it was thing. a win-win for Eventually, me. Eventually, they would have. Her heart was broke. It she was a win-win started as well. Closer to me, her heart was broke, and so was her hymen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't have to explain shit about the cat because I know I didn't kill it. So. But that okay. was that was one hell of a time, and that was, yeah, I've never seen that happen before. And it yeah, you probably so won't. See more it of the story: again. if you fall off a couch in a three foot fall, you will smash a kitten. <laughs> I don't like how you pronouncing the kittens. Kitten, kittens. I just hope I just hope she finds this podcast. I cannot. Uh, fucking, I'm going to tag. Okay, her so it. I'm just I'm just thinking don't. about like the moment like where you explain that and like the rage in the father's eyes. Oh, he was angry, dude. Oh, dude. I never and went he back. Had a gun in never his hand. been back. And he had a gun in his hand. And he had a gun in his hand. I'd Why did he have back. a gun in his hand? Because he didn't know who he was didn't downstairs. He didn't know who was in the basement. Okay. And the mom okay. left for work, and the mom never told him that she had boys uh... over. It was crazy, yeah. So I mean, mother F, every <clears throat> word in the book, and if you come back here again, I mean, he's pointing this. It was fucked yeah. up, dude. It was fucked up. This brings up a good topic, though. What is, uh, and, and we can say go around the room whatever we want to do what's the, what's the most you've ever done to try to get laid like dyer was about to like the most that you've gone through yeah because because i was about to like hide the cat and then still try to get in <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah that was and, my uh, opportunity we're gonna have to junior that is i love how you're viewing this like you still had a chance like in this whole thing like you're looking at it like no, no no that was my opportunity while she was asleep on the couch and he had moved over and crushed the cat like right there in that sweet window i feel like i could have made it happen yeah because no, she doesn't dude. know it doesn't no. stink yet <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and and i forgot that in the morning the smell oh my god ungodly ungodly <laughs> Like, I don't know how bad the smell was over in Germany with the Jews and Holocaust. Oh, my God. <laughs> but have you ever torched someone with some hair and burnt hair and the smell of burnt hair? No, nobody has other than oh my serial God. killers. It's fucking disgusting smell. Have you ever torched somebody? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. I was Should on a porch, I was on a porch one time, and a girl from this other town that lived close by oh. was on the porch. She had a hairspray and I lit a cigarette I, and I yeah, accidentally I fucking caught some of her hair. She didn't know it was on fire and it stunk. I remember that. That was, yeah, that was, that was horrible. Horrible that, that was probably the worst thing about now, the Holocaust. times that by two of a cat sitting <laughs> yeah. there for just, fucking Just the hours. fact that smell being there. Smell yeah, that was definitely hair. the worst part of the Holocaust. Yep. I mean, I, I agree with the initial... You know, start of like the whole movement. You know, that's why we had KK Caleb on the last podcast. You know, I really support white supremacy 100%. But uh, just that unfortunate smell, they should have done it. You know, that's why they moved to the gas chambers. It was a smarter way to do it. Better. For sure. Yeah. I don't condone it, but better. Yeah. I I do. I fully condone it. So, yeah, what what have you done? That's the cat dying story. You're you're asking me what's what's the furthest I've gone, like the most bullshit I've put up with to try and get laid? Yeah. 
well, you already know this. The, the, the legend. The legend. The legend of whore paste. You're not. I'll tell you right now, you're going to have to speed it up. This one's a long one. It is a long one. I'll try to, I'll try to rush through it as quick as I can. So we're all out drinking. We meet this girl and immediately notice that she has a massive black eye. Oh, and uh, Like half of her face is black. Yeah. And uh, start talking to her. She informs me that uh, a gentleman the night before at the same bar had punched her in the face. And she shows right back up to the scene of the crime like the next night. So that was red flag number one that I ignored. Uh, I'm flirting with her. And she's a, she agrees to go to a party with us with uh, a guy that you uh, you all know. I think you you were there this night. Uh, a gentleman that tried to headbutt me with his football helmet on that same night. Oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we agree to go to that party. And she goes out to her car and has a overnight bag prepared already with like clothes and toothbrush and shit. So she that's red flag number two that I ignored is that she had a prepared whore bag ready to go in case she got some dick that night. So I ignore that shit. And uh, we go over to this party. And uh, like I said, that dude uh, got super shit face, put on his high school football helmet was shirtless and was trying to headbutt me and fight me for absolutely no reason. I'd barely talked to him. <laughs> He's just a mean fucking drunk. And we go back to Derek's house, who's still living with his mom at this time. And uh, this girl, like, stops, like, transitions from flirting with me to flirting with Derek and paying more attention to him. So I'm like, well, fuck this. I'm fucking out. Like, this is, this sucks. And then uh, she, like, all at once had, like, cut off and then came out to talk to me, flirting with me. And then, you know, later I realized why. Um, but that night she just falls asleep uh, with, like, her head on my lap and we're both sleeping on a love seat. Mm. And nice. <clears throat> the reason we called no her... No cats around, right? The, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. No animals were harmed <laughs> during this. Yeah. And uh, nobody got laid this night. Um, so, and the reason we call her whore paste is she left her toothpaste behind. And, and I she, used it she's for the longest whore, time. And that's, that's, uh, that's the whole story. It was cinnamon flavor, but, wasn't it? I don't remember. Because I'm sure she smelled of cinnamon or some sort of vanilla. She probably smelled of cum. I'll, I'll be honest with you. She probably smelled of dried Seen cum. Mm. Yeah. So vanilla. Yeah. Vanilla. Yeah. That's <laughs> the same smell. It's the same scent. Think about that. But, uh, so I, she gets my number and we chat over like the next week and then decide uh, to go go out. And where does she want to go out? That same fucking bar. She wants to go to that same fucking bar. Oh, it's a hot spot for her. Yeah, yeah that's, that's her fucking spot. And so we meet up there. We're, uh, I think I pick her up from her grandpa's house. And she has a kid, by the way. And she's staying at her grandpa's house. That's... That's like three extra red flags so far in the story that I haven't even mentioned. Like, living at her grandpa's house while she has a kid. So, like, not having a stable place to live while you're a mother. And then... Going out to the bar. And also changing who you're flirting with and leaving your toothpaste behind. Like, I'm sure... That's why she has a bag prepared. Because she leaves shit everywhere in all the places that she stays. With her with her whorish ways. But, again, I ignore all these and happily go out with her. Because... Uh, this was during my fat phase, and this was going to be like this the the first not fat girl that I was going to have sex with. So I was pretty excited about that. Sorry, needed to take a drink to finish the story. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> we go out to the bar, having a good time. Um, this dude starts like talking to her and like flirting with her, and she says that like you know she knows him and he's always trying to hit on her. Uh, some Mexican dude, and it's integral to the story um you know she kind of like blows him off hangs out with me and then uh we leave that place and we go back to her grandpa's house or no i'm sorry we leave that place and go to her aunt's house and her aunt's house is like the best way to describe it is that it's the ideal place to play white trash bingo Mm. Where, like, you walk in and there's stacked up newspapers on the kitchen table, so much so that, like, you can't even put anything on the table. Uh, all the dishes are piled up. The entire kitchen counter is covered in empty natty light and bush yeah. light cans. The entertainment stand is uh, milk crates. No bullshit. It's an old school, thick ass TV on a milk crate. Uh, oh, the couch, <clears throat> The couch has no cushions on it whatsoever. 
uh, the the her aunt, and I don't know. Had, there's a little girl also randomly in the picture, and I'm not sure whose kid that was. It wasn't the girl that I was with, so it's either the aunt's kid or she's babysitting. I don't fucking know, but she's smoking weed right in front of her, and I'm looking around this place, and I was like, man, like if somebody tries to fuck their cousin, like I have a bingo. Like this is this is great white trash mecca right here. So, you know, we hang out for a little bit. We go to leave, and then. Uh, her cousin is there and he starts trying to like fight me, like yell at me for no reason. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy's problem? And you know, like she finally like separates, you know, him gets him back inside and we go to take off. And I'm like, what the fuck was that about? And I was like, I barely talked to the guy. Why did he want to fight me? He's like, he's just jealous because you're with me and he wants to be with me. I was like, I thought you said that guy was your cousin. I'm like, he is. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Also, I have a bingo. I just hit bingo. And so. We leave there. We go back to her grandpa's house. When we're at her uh, grandpa's house, she was like, hey, like, instead of, like, going inside, since my grandpa's in there, like, I'll just come back out with some blankets and some pillows. And at this point, I was driving my dad's work van, which is a panel van with no windows in the back it's, it's like a, it's like a mobile rape station basically yeah. oh yeah yeah and uh Definitely so we just lay down we just lay down like pillows and blankets in the back and literally we snuggle up that he had prepared. huh <laughs> you had these blankets no she went inside prepared. to go grab them yeah uh, she oh, went inside yeah. to go grab they the pillows the, and blankets the she is always ready hey dude <laughs> she's always yeah, re- i'm telling I you you said you she was no, prepared. With no, her we went back to her house. She yeah. went inside to grab it. Gotcha. But yeah, no, she. she was I'm in the sure brownies. she had. I'm sure she had them in a little bundle bag of like in case I have to fuck in a van. Like this is my. This is my. This is my go bag of fucking of blankets and pillows, just in case. So he, she brings he, that out. We start move, cuddling. They had to move the duct tape aside to put the pillows down. <laughs> <laughs> we uh we start we start like cuddling and like literally before I plant the first kiss, like we're That's we're literally shovel. like we're looking at each other and I start to lean in and then a shadow walks across the front of the van and I'm just like what the fuck was that so I look up because it was like very close (laughs) 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 you know what and you know who it was it was it was it was the ghost of kittens (laughs) 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 so this shadow walks by and we get up and look because it had walked like in order for the shadow to hit, it had to be like right by the front of the van. So we get up and look, and it was the fucking Mexican dude from the bar. And he he walked past us, and then was he had been dropped off by his friends right in front of her fucking grandpa's house. And so this dude uh, is sitting there, and we're both like, I'm sitting in the driver's seat, and she's sitting in the passenger seat, and we're just staring at him. And eventually he looks over and sees us. And he just starts walking at the fucking van. And I'm like, fuck you. I started up the van, and I take off. We're in like a cul-de-sac, so I just took off towards like the entrance to the cul-de-sac. I'm like, what do you want to do? He's like, well, we can't just leave him there in front of my grandpa's house. So I'm like, sure all right, can. I'll loop back around. So I drove back through and then parked right where I was. And then he's just staring at us. And then he takes his elbow and props it up on the fucking mailbox like, motherfucker, I ain't going anywhere. What do you want to do? So I'm just like, call the cops. Call the fucking cops. And I was like, he's... I was like, just get the cops here. Such a and white they had guy thing to do. So yeah, who was this? Yeah. Call right. the cops, <laughs> dude. Co- did cops I, will did come I fall settle it. Who was this dude, guy? this guy was the is the Mexican dude that flirted with her at the fucking bar. The one that punched her in the eye. No, no, oh, okay, no, that was a black guy. Gotcha, black guy. He, but this guy wants to beat your ass because you're with her. Crazy yeah. white yeah, okay. trash yeah. Mexican yeah. whores. Yeah, this is mm. his family. Is that why you changed yeah. this? Anyway, so the Mexican dude, we're looking at him. And I told her, call the cops. She calls the cops. They have a very impressive response time, by the way. They show up in like three minutes. So I'm like, yay, yay, because... They know the address. (laughs) They know the address. They've been there before. (laughs) They've been there before. This guy does this shit all the time. And and that's actually what she said. She said, he's done this before. He shows up at my house or my mom's house or my grandpa's house. Like, he's done this before. And I'm like, well, that's fucking terrifying. So the cops show up and they just talk to him. Been there. Before. They talk to him. They talk to him <laughs> yeah, for a while, <laughs> and uh, she goes out there and they're like yelling and screaming at each other. And I'm just sitting there in the fucking in my dad's van, like I've made an enormous mistake coming here. Like this is a terrible idea. I have not enjoyed this night 
at all at any point. It took you until this moment to realize yeah. that you've made yeah, I was really, I was really, I was about to fuck her in the van. I was about to fuck. It was going to be my first MILF, and it was going to be the first time I had sex in a van. MILF So is, I was really... You're using that term lightly. Well, it's... It was, she was a mom, and I would have liked to have fucked her, so no. That's literally what it stands for. Yeah, but for. when you think of MILF, you think of hot, someone hot. I, it's what the word stands for. <laughs> By the way, can, Somebody I, hot. Can, I, can I add to your story just a little bit? It's when you said that, hot in here. We're gonna get, I'll tell you that. I'm sweating balls. Well, you're always sweating, Junior. Um, when, you, when you started up your van, I could just hear the belts squealing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the fucking belt squeaks on. <laughs> From yeah. your rape van, that's just yeah, what I got think. got that, like, fucking backfire on the muffler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... You still took her home, didn't you? <laughs> Will you fucking let me finish the goddamn story? Wow, you're just any so cunt? long. We're still doing this story. You asked, you, still asked, here. you asked me to tell this. I didn't, I didn't bring I this did, up. I did, but wrap it up. I wish I would have wrapped it up. Anyway, right um, that also is an integral part of the story. Um, so they're yelling and screaming at each other and they, they tell the dude to just like go away and, uh, he starts walking away and he fucking turns to me. He's like, you better fucking watch your back, homie. I know who the fuck you are. You better fucking watch your back. He's so and then good I, at impressions. And then I, I turned to the cops Racist. and I was like, and I'm like, Hey, like he just Profile, threatened me or he, this guy just threatened me. Are we going to do anything about this? And he's like, and they're like, eh, eh, no, I don't give a shit. That's too much paperwork. Yeah, it sounds it sounds like a whole lot of work. Junior like knows. he left. And here's the thing, like I said, this is a cul de sac. He just disappeared in between two houses. He didn't exit. Like he disappeared in between two houses and like walked over some railroad tracks or some shit. And she comes back to the van. I was like, All right, so what do you want to do? She's like, Well, we can't stay here. Like, I can't stay here tonight. I was like, I think you should, and I think you should stay here and I should take off. She's like, No, you don't understand. He's he has guns. He's probably he's going to go get back them. He's in a gang. I was like, What the fuck do you mean? There's a Mexican gang in fucking Finley? What the fuck are you talking about? At what about? point did you abort fucking mission, dude? Uh, what the fuck? I didn't, what are you going to Should have been when she <laughs> grabbed her handbag. Nobody's been this desperate in the history I, of people At the end of the story, you better said you at least fucked it. I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna tell you this, Junior. I will not take judgment from you on this. <laughs> <laughs> well played. <laughs> so we're like, all right. We just drove to the fucking Walmart parking lot. Like she got in her car and followed me, so we could like game plan of like, all right, where are you gonna stay? And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go back home. She's like, can I go with you? I have nowhere we're safe to stay tonight. And I'm like, you have a Walmart parking lot. At this point, lot? it's fucking. It's f- like four or five o'clock in the morning at this point after the whole ordeal, and I have an hour to drive to get back home. I drive the whole way. I'm fucking falling asleep, going in the ditch. She's falling behind me. Like, I'm literally like falling asleep and careening off in the ditch and coming back out of it. Like, fuck, fuck, fuck. We get back, and we end up, uh, we do have sex. Coitus. But uh, one thing that I had left out is that I was talking to another girl, but we hadn't started dating, and I had text. M- my friend earlier that night and said hey like this chick is crazy in a perfect world i would have sex with her tonight and then never talk to her again and start dating this other girl and when i was downstairs taking a piss she fucking went through my phone and read that shit so now wait is this before or after coitus this is after coitus all right so now we got fucking drama and she's fucking mad and upset and she wants to drive home and I, I was still a, a semi-decent person at this point despite what I just texted about her. I still have a little bit of a soul. So I'm like, you don't want to drive home and I was like, you're exhausted and I was like, you'll fall asleep, like you'll wreck. And I was like, just stay here and I was like, I'll sleep on the couch. It's fine. She's like, no, it's fine. You can sleep in your own bed. And then somehow we ended up having sex like two more times and it was okay. It wasn't anything awesome. Yeah, I don't I don't know how it happened either. But then, uh, you know, like a week and a half later, she texts me and says, Hey, I really miss you. And I was like, hey. I was like, yeah, I know you read that text message about that girl. I was like, I'm actually dating that girl and I want to see where it goes. So, like, you know, this is kind of over. She goes, that's fine. I'm pregnant. Oh, shit. Yeah. And uh, 28-year-old me knows well, uh, how be. science works, but... Uh, 21 year old me did not know how science works so even though it had only been a week and a half and she told me she was pregnant with twins um oh, with she, twins. she knew it was twins <laughs> she's it was got the ultrasound already it was twins twins basil um yeah so i panicked and just started full-on sprinting in the parking lot and then eventually it all got resolved where she <laughs> what, what parking lot were you going back i was to the, you I was going in, back to the van to get the show i was in a, i was <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was getting the hanger yeah. All right, that duct tape we moved over. We're getting it back out. 
I'm going to wrap that around that little bastard's wrist and yank him out. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Alabama. <laughs> Not in Alabama. Uh, no, but she eventually admitted that uh, she was already pregnant when she met me. And that it was not my kid, oh. but the the problem was that like this was all going on during football camp, and I thought like in order to call her out on it and prove her wrong, I told her I'm coming to the first doctor's appointment, the to the ultrasound, because this whole time I'm like I'm talking to my nurse friend, and he's like, "There's no way, dude, it's impossible." I'm like, "Are you sure?" And he's like, "It's not possible. It's not possible to know that it's twins after a week and a half. It's not even possible to know that you're pregnant after a week and a half. It's not possible. You're fine." I'm like, are you sure? He goes, I'm fucking sure. Quit asking me. I'm like, okay. Because I would ask him like five times a day at least. Oh, yeah. And um, it took me calling her out. I'm be like, no, I'm coming to the doctor's appointment. And I was literally on my way to uh, the coach's office to go tell him and request from him that I miss some of football camp to go to a doctor's appointment to see if I was going to be a father. Which coach? It doesn't matter. Okay. That's not important. The one where we when were there. The head coach. Yeah. The head coach. Oh, okay. Yeah, and she finally admits to it. She's like, yeah, it's not yours. And I was like, oh, thank God. And I just like slowly faded out. And I think like a year or two later, she like friend requested me on Facebook, and I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, nope, never, 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 ever. I've done, yeah. I, I haven't done anything even remotely. <clears throat> no, I, I, let's that not I, even tell yeah. our stories at this point. Even I know. if I did. Yeah. So that's a wrap. <laughs> well, here's the thing. <laughs> Even but if the, I don't think I got time. A lot of a lot of people like question me of like how the fuck could you have had sex with her? And I was like, dude, I got threatened by a supposed Mexican gangbanger over over this pussy. And I was like, you think I'm gonna die over a pussy that I didn't get? Was it his twins? Did you ever find out? I his don't twins? fucking don't know, care. dude. I, after that, I got the fuck out of there. Could have been. Yeah. I, she I mean, he that, she yes. admitted that. Yeah, they probably came out cross-eyed, web-footed, like it was probably her fucking cousin's kids. I bet they would be. So, I know that you they have, listen to country uh, music because they're retarded. You have something yeah. that you like, like you went through just to have sex. So, why don't you tell me about this uh, this story? <laughs> well, there was this girl. Damn, um, I said it. Yeah, you said it again. <laughs> yeah, fucking said it again. It's God junior. It's junior. <laughs> Thirty-two. Okay, go Thirty-two on. minutes. Yep. So, I met this girl. And she was, she was one of the friends that went with her in high school. And, you know, she was never attractive, but I'm like, hey, my buddy Jake's is fucking it. So, I mean, I saw him with Haley. I might as well try to get on this train, too. I also hope this girl finds this podcast. Any, anybody, anybody that he fucks, I'm I can totally fuck. Her. Yeah, so. <laughs> we're hanging out, both and Haley not and once girl. did I ever say I wanted to fuck her. Not once. But I had another friend of her girlfriend's that was like, dude. You haven't had sex in a little while. You need to fucking fuck her. She'll fuck you if you do it. I go, fuck yeah, fuck it. All right, a lot of Fs. <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, so I go to her house, and we're hanging out, and it's good. And I really don't want to have sex with her at all. But I get drunk, and I'm like, screw it. I'm going to do it. So I go into her bedroom, and we're laying down. And I like fucking from behind, so I like face down, ass up, get all up in there. I spread those butt cheeks, and what do I see? Wait, are you gonna, are you about to eat ass? No, I well, I I don't know what was going on in my mind. I was six, <laughs> seventeen. No, I wasn't. I was like twenty, twenty. But you're from, but you're she's, you know, you're behind her. So. I'm behind her. I'm I'm thinking about pounding it out from behind. I'm pretty right. sure. But maybe treat tempting her like a lady. to go down if she you're, asks. You're gonna I treat maybe. her like a lady, I'm right? Treat her like a lady. Lay her down bend her over, bed, face yeah. ass, bend her over. Yeah. Hey, so you didn't want to you didn't want to fuck this girl. So right, you said that. Why were you? I I think that's more important to the story until of, of what you're about to say. Yeah. Why were you? So. <laughs> <laughs> um, um. So I'll get to that point. But okay. I'm laying her down, and I'm I'm well I'm desperate, dude. I'm desperate. That's why I'm gonna fuck her because I'm desperate. All right. <laughs> See, that, see that, that's, months, that's the best answer you could have given I'm, I'm right there. I'm defeated. I'm tired of fucking stroking it. I'm going to fuck her. Yeah. So I lay her down and I see her ass and I spread those cheeks. And I don't know why I did it, but I did it. And it was dark. And I still saw it was like a Nile river of shit. Like crusted. Like she just took a fucking deuce and forgot to fucking wipe. Oh. Yeah. 
So you know what I did? What? I still fucked it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I closed the cheeks back up and I went to town. Because if you can't see it, then fuck it, right? It's just extra lube. And oh, no, hey, no, my no, God. no, 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 no. We've all fucked in the ass no. before. No. Shit comes out of it. You put your dick in it. You, you we're going to take a bath anyway. Wash your dick. What are you talking about? <laughs> you did anal with your girlfriend? I know you have. Have you not? Have you ever did anal with, with any of your with girlfriends? With a girlfriend, yes. Okay. So you know what it, it's like. Shit comes out of there, but we still put our fucking clean dick but, inside it, right? Yeah, but no it's, one no one says that shit is extra lube. No one. Oh, yeah. Well, I was And just that's how she gets like there. a UTI, yeah. like 100%. And, well, I wasn't fucking her in the ass, so when I The clo- shit would be extra lube with your butthole, because it's basically just straight water, Derek. Yeah. So when I closed her cheeks, I knew I was fucking the pussy. And not her ass. <laughs> so her Christ. shit that was there was already crusted. So I didn't have to worry about, you know, sliding up in there because I'm going in the vagina. Yeah, you would have some speed bumps on the road. To, you would know. You yeah. would feel a little fucking like you're getting a little, what's that, a sandpaper on your dick. But I yeah, it's not sandpaper. How it's hard shit. was this shit? Yeah, I don't some know. speed bumps and some shit lumps. Right. It might not Obviously. have been shit. It might have just been just residue from it like fucking mold i don't know it was fucking brown dude everywhere <laughs> this is i'm gonna throw i was disgusted whole... but you know what when you're down in the dumps <laughs> nope and you're in that moment mm-hmm. in time mm-hmm. we're so, already so you're naked. saying there was brown stuff in her ass crack and you're confused on whether or not it was shit or mold no no <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> shit but who knows How dirty was this bitch wow well, <laughs> well she's not i mean she's a she's a nice lady <laughs> <laughs> You want to know how nice she was? She uh, lives yeah. in the hollers in West Virginia. You want to, do you want to know how nice she was? For all you West Virginia people as watching, long as I'm da- sorry. As long as uh, Junior had sex with her, she would just buy him stuff. She she was desperate as well. Oh, yeah. To where she would buy Junior stuff just because he was having sex with her. So Anybody add- that's desperate to keep you around has got some real dark shit I, in their I past. Will, I will say, yeah, that... This was, I mean, you were in the best shape of, God damn it. I was in really good shape. You just, oh, let's, let's cut that again. It. I knew that would be popping out. 37. Uh, 37. 37. Look back at it. Check. <laughs> Junior. I'm going to fucking kill you, by the it's, way. God. Got a lot of editing. It's still better. Side. It's still better than the last one, but God. Uh, yeah. Well, well, Junior, you were in the best shape of your life, this part uh, of your life. Oh, yeah. And so now. I yeah, mean, if, if it was right. now, I would understand, you know. <laughs> but then I'm like, what am I doing? Like, I stoop to this level. What the fuck? So anyway, I'm like, you know what? If now you asking, kill to have shit cracked yeah. back. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You crack. said yeah. You, you already said yeah. If yeah. you'd see her today, new, no. she's like a oopa loopa. You know, she's like oh one of those shitty ass crack out there. There. You go to a Walmart. Junior is interested still. You know, those little blow up things as kids. You knock it down. They pop back up at you. That's what she is. Are you wobble. Wobble. And you don't fall down. Are yeah. you too fucking good for getting your gas paid for? So you can. <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> used to pay his gas. You she paid for your gas. You know, I kind of wish she was back so she could like. Yeah, pay for shit. She can pay her lot rent. Yeah. So I was <laughs> double lot paradise. Junior. Uh, oh yeah, Junior is perfect for yeah, you living yeah. in a trailer so, uh, park. Uh, oh. Too bad we said his real name yeah. three fucking times. You pricks. <laughs> my, my, so we, I just want to. I want to point out. I don't know if you're getting hot and bothered right now. I think it it's is seventy one degrees. It's got to be the apple crown yeah. oil. Yeah, it's, it's seventy one degrees in here, and you are sweating like a pig. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying so the crown oil. She is. Uh, yeah, free charts. Thank you for the <laughs> den of debauchery podcast. Debauchery. Debauchery. <laughs> Debauchery. Debauchery. Yep. Yeah, I'm terrible at play on words. So to go back with the chick. It's it was not a play great on time. words. You just mispronounced yeah, it. <laughs> now I'm an idiot. So the best part of that moment was her dad. Junior is, don't read so good. Her dad is sleeping in his room, which is catty corner. and Oh, shitty crack. Yeah, Keep going. So I'm fucking it from behind. And her bed, the headrest, that big thing, yeah, yeah. has a mirror. And it's just like banging on the fucking wall, dude. Her dad wakes up, and you could see the feet in the hallway, definitely pointing towards the door. And he's contemplating on one, walking in and seeing me going, and his daughter from behind, or two, insertion, yeah, insertion, insertion, yeah, yeah. and two going, 
I don't know if I want to fucking walk in this. Junior's yeah. in there pounding my daughter from behind. Yeah, but think about it. Did, did this dad touch her? As well? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, because he was the dad. That's only stepfather. Oh, only step. Yeah. Okay, only right, right. Yeah. Only stepfather's molest. Now, so that's, that's step- allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Now, allegedly. I'll tell you why. Allegedly, Every allegedly. stepfather's a molester. I think we can all agree. Allegedly. <laughs> now, this isn't the first time that you've dealt with uh, but yeah, poop particles. But yes, you shit. In your life. No, it's not. Not the first time. Okay, so... It's probably not going to be the last either. <laughs> so, so, what happened uh, What happened with uh, you going eating ass? So, I've never ate Cautionary ass. Cautionary towel. Yeah, so I've never ate ass before. And I just got out of a bad relationship. Toxic as fuck. And I like to play Still music. Still So, I'm in my place. <laughs> I don't know if we talk, but we do some other shit. But uh, I'm had... By the way, I told you that I matched with her on Bumble, right? Yes, you, yes, you did. And then I sent, I saw the area that it was from, and I asked Derek about it, and he was like, "No," and I was like, "Oh shit!" And then gave me the whole deal. Yeah, yeah, that was me. Yeah, <laughs> that was me. Yeah. There's a reason she looks like she does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 Once again, she's a nice lady. <laughs> no, she's no, not. No, she's not. She's horrible. Yeah. So okay. So <laughs> emphasis on the whore. Yeah. Bull. <laughs> that W was silent on that one. Right, get um, this eating ass out of the way. So we're playing music and we're having a fucking great time and we're just jamming. She likes to jam. We're singing. And he's we're strumming drinking. his crotch right yeah. now. To we're drinking. Say he's doing a guitar. Fuck ton of rum. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm thinking, well, he's getting all hot and bothered by remembering I'm this thing. At the end of the night, dude, I better be fucking this because she is so hot, and you guys know she is hot. You got to confirm she was hot. I'll, I would for, I, for you because I sent a picture <laughs> of a snap of her ass in those booty shorts and say I'm getting in that tonight, and you go prove it, and so I sent it to you, annoying. and you go, yeah, and I said, and I said prove it, and you, uh, never you proved didn't it. prove yeah. it, but I believe you, you. Oh, and, you. and I'll tell you why, because of what happened. So we're laying down. Well, I'm not laying down yet. She fucking comes in, bites the bottom of my lip. And at this point in time, I know it's going down. This is erotica part. So I'm sitting Indian style on the floor singing to her. She pushes me down. (laughs) Singing to her. Is that my toenail? Oh my God. Why would your toe? Why would your? Why would your toenail just They're fall? They're kind of long right now. I don't know. <laughs> kind of curled my toe, and then you went and picked just, something up. Down I just there. want everybody to know. I dropped the pen cap. Where'd you go pick it up? And <laughs> thought his toenail. Uh, he forty. Just forty. He thought said it, tur- it again. He said it again. God. By the way, the one person who I thought would forget to not call himself Junior is the only person who has consistently stayed right with it, and you two have fucked it up. The brothers stuck have fucked it up. It's a great name. So I'm laying there on the ground, and this song comes on, and it's Dirty Laundry by the Eagles. I had not... Okay. Your dirty laundry. Nope. Yeah, so it's by the Eagles. (laughs) It's a good and song. And she's just fucking whipping her hair in my face. And I'm like, like Willow Smith. Yes, just yeah. in my fucking face. Just yeah. I like the play on words on that song. But the hair's getting whipped in my face and I'm like, yeah, we're going down. Go back bedroom now. So I go to the back bedroom. We start getting down. Sounds rapey. And she whispers in my ear and says, "You're going to hate me." And I said, "You're going to I'm going to what?" And she said, "Hate." And I said, why am I going to hate you? And why are you whispering? She goes, <laughs> no because one. I'm on my period. <laughs> and I go, I don't give a fuck. You go to the bathroom. You take that fucking thing out right now because it's going down. I am so prepared to fuck this. She's oh, so yeah. hot. I yeah. Mean, so she goes that's to the just ex- That's just extra lube, man. That, that's a, that's 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 yeah. God. No, okay. not shit. So but... shit and blood. Yeah. <laughs> so so I'm I'm good. Good. Just need to. Anybody, no. Damn it. Anybody damn. out there making God fucking. God damn it. Anybody 44 16. Fuck. You fucking prick. <laughs> Anybody out there making lube right now, go out and get shit and blood because it's just good Just mix shit, shit and blood together. <laughs> oh my God. It's <laughs> very sanitary. Put this on your dick, it'll help. So she goes to the bathroom, takes it out, comes back in, oh. and we're having a great time. Right. And I'm having so, oh my God. I'm so hard. Fuck. This is All the right. skinniest bitch I've ever fucked. Okay. I wish I could judge you, but when I really I'm just going and you're in this zone, you're finally getting what you want. And you're like, How did you get to this point? So then you go through all those stories and you're like, 
Whoo, okay, skip that one, next one, next one. Anyway, I'm fucking her. And I bend her over, treat her like a nice girl. Like, yeah, like a princess. Like a princess. Like a princess. And I'm fucking her from behind. Her ass is fucking nice. Just squeezing. Everything's golden. And I go, you know what? I've never ate ass before. And this bitch is a clean girl. Did you say that out loud? Yeah. I've okay. never ate ass before. All right. Not out loud to her. Oh, okay. no. I'm telling uh, out just, loud to you guys. You just, you just said it out loud to the room. <laughs> yeah. You weren't talking to her. Never heard you just loudly before. Announced, so, you know, I've never eaten ass before. <laughs> She's like, who are you talking to? I was like, I'm just gauging the room to see if I should do it. <laughs> so I'm in my head saying, I'm going to try it out. Yeah. You know, I want her to come back. And what's funny <laughs> is my True dad right. always said. Oh, this if, is good. This yeah, is good the, best, the best message that he's ever told me. Yeah. It was, if you want a girl to come back, then you eat that ass. Oh, my she God. She will come back every time. Because there are not a lot of men out there. So you know for ass. sure your dad ate your mom's ass out. Oh, for sure. Cool times. <laughs> I walked in on one time of my uh, dad taking a shit and my mom giving her a blumpkin. Oh. Yeah. You Get walked the in fucking, How old were you? Hold on. How old were you? I was like eight. This, oh my God! Yeah, this my is, mom. Is, you don't do blumpkins in the house with yeah, your I children. I didn't know what the you fuck blumpkin stuck. was until I got to college. But he was taking a shit, and, and somebody told you what a blumpkin dick. was, and you'd be like, "Hey, my, my mom God. and dad yes, do that." Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's a side story. <laughs> they're, they're keeping the marriage spicy. <laughs> let's let's jump right over that yeah. childhood yeah. trauma. Oh my God! So I'm I'm eating her ass, and you know what? I don't know if I went to eat her ass or if I went because I was really fucking drunk and rummed out. We drank a whole bottle. I'm and then she out, got rimmed out. out. Yeah. Yee. So I have her like her mounted, her ass is up, and I'm in here underneath going, oh, whatever. Yeah. Okay, wrap it up. But I stuck my face, I think, in closer, and I think my eye was on her brown hole the whole time I was eating her on pussy from night. behind. Yeah. Ooh. So what I thought I was eating ass, I don't think I was eating ass. I think my eye was eating the ass. <laughs> <laughs> because Your suction cup. A week the later, you were I, you were looking ass yes. instead of licking ass. Yes. Yeah. So a week later, I'm going to my practices and doing everything, and you know I'm getting you know everyone's saying you got fucking pink eye. I go no, I don't. I got fucking red eye, bitch. Not pink eye. Got a little irritation. Nothing's crusty yet. Two weeks later, it's full blown fucking pink eye, dude. I'm fucking crusty. I'm fucking miserable. So I go through a drive through where I work at, and I tell the lady. And I go, she's like, oh, my God, you're hideous. You got fucking you're hideous. Hideous. <laughs> Why are you working? <laughs> they are so nice in and the drive through know, what the, where you The work. fucked up part is <laughs> she, she yelled, you're hideous, and she hadn't even seen his eye yet. Yeah, he was turned to the yeah, side. So he's like, <laughs> Junior's like, why did they? <laughs> so I rusted a guy with pink eye. He's like, what the fuck's wrong with your eye? I go, I think I got pink eye. That's why I'm wearing gloves. I wore gloves. To make sure <laughs> oh, wow. Get him you're being fight. roasted by a guy you're arresting. Yeah, so the lady gave me uh, like this irritation uh eye doctor shit and then wait, pink wait, wait, wait. eye medicine the drive through lady through through drive through she just has <laughs> pink eye medicine well she had two she had just if you think it's let's red, be honest if you're working in a drive through you're getting a lot of pink eye she did it through quotations if you think it's red eye use this one if you think it's pink eye use this one so i why use, is she so nice to you why I, does she care about your health he's done a lot know. so <laughs> Who's to say I didn't see her after that? <laughs> but it's so like I tell her, and ever. she gives me the medicine. So I used because I'm arrogant. I used the red eye shit. It didn't work, so I used pink eye, and the pink eye went away. And I fucked that bitch. I thought I was eating ass when really my eye was just on that brown hole, and it gave me pink eye. So damn, that's. A <laughs> so the moral of the story is: don't eat ass. Just stick your eyeball on it and see what it'll go for you. See what happens. That's the moral of the story. That's what you really yeah. want to sell to people: is that it's good to put your eyeball directly no, just into shit. When you eat ass, keep it at a level. Do not get face. When they say, "Oh, I'm gonna get face down deep in that shit," no, don't. Because once you do, you're looking at some medical problems with your eyeball. It was like four weeks, dude. I was miserable. <laughs> All right, but I will fuck her again any moment. I just will not put my eye around her brown. I, I I really wish that you wouldn't. It sounds like she's an awful person from what I hear. <laughs> she's a nice lady, <laughs> Junior. Towards the towards the beginning of uh, of your story, we talked uh, about the the very nice lady that you just broke up with. What what's why why were you guys having such a rough patch throughout? Um, I know that I, this is a this is a story that can be uh, that can be told with. One phrase. I know it's a it's a what are you doing here, uh, uh, 
And I, we don't need to hear all the traumatic. We, we don't want to have a, a, psych, a psychological podcast here, but I think, uh, I think everybody would be interested in the story. Just a psycho podcast, not so, psychological. A uh, buddy of mine was getting married, and I went to this bachelor party, and this guy by the name Jake, not the Jake of like the good friend I've had, it's just acquaintance friend of a Jake, so they had the same name. But he was there, and he kept asking me, like, hey, how are you and uh, your girl doing? I said, oh, we're doing great. We just... You know, fucked in this little alley in the woods, and I took her out to eat. <laughs> oh, we're doing great. Doing great. We, doing fucked, great. we just we fucked, fucked an alley. In an alley. You, can't, you can't just gloss over that, dude. And you can't just you can't just shoot right past. It was that. down a lane. It wasn't an alley. Hold it was on. down a lane in the woods. What the fuck? Uh, one of our farmer's friends woods. Didn't you fuck in a in a bar restroom as well? Yeah, the nastiest yeah. bar. I fucked in, in a bar our hometown, hometown. Yeah. but it was the what best the bathroom fuck? in our hometown. What the fuck? So everything was good, and I told him the story. Yeah. I had to go to work, you know, I had to work till 2 a.m., um, and I did that, and she was supposed to go to Finley and do her thing, so she did. Uh, this was I her said birthday. Finley, Finley uh, Kentucky, right. and uh, anyway, I knew that something was up. She wasn't texting me, wasn't calling me back, and I called her so many times, I'm like, fuck this, this bitch is fucking cheating on me. Fuck this bitch. And so I get my go back to the bachelor party to give people rides home, and I'm telling them, I think my fucking girlfriend's cheating on me. They go, dude, she'd never do that. And I go, dude, she is doing it. No, you're just insecure. No, I fucking know she's doing it because otherwise she'd be answering my fucking call. I told her I'd give her a ride. She's not answering. So I call her, do the investigating shit, keep her talking, keep getting her on the fucking moment. She slips up, tells me where she's going. So she goes to this other town. And slips up saying it. And then reverts back to the other town she was going. But I knew she wasn't doing that. So I go to the only place in that fucking town that I don't want her at. She could have been cheating on with fucking Bill Bill Bradley over in a fucking barn. Bill Bradley! And I wouldn't it's give like a, a Bill fuck. <laughs> to Bill Brasky, the son Bill of a bitch. Bill Brasky. <laughs> could have been fucking in a horse barn for all I cared. But don't be at this guy's house. So I go to this guy's house. The fucking doors open, cracked open. It was like, oh. it was like, yeah, I didn't have to break in. The door was already open. So it was just like, okay, I'm going in here to save my fucking girl from getting fucking raped. I think it's important to, to the story that this is a trailer out in the middle of the country. Yeah. I think that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a trailer out in the middle of the country, right outside of another town. Um, <laughs> it means so dear to us right now. But the door was cracked I love how open. how white trash this whole episode yeah, is. It is. The door was open and all the lights. She said she was going to a party. So why isn't why I see lights on? Why isn't music playing? I don't even know if she's fucking here is the fucking point, though, too. So he's just I just don't into know any house. fucking car. But I knew the door was open. So I walk in. It's my one of my friends. So I knew if I just walked in and he was sleeping, he'd be like, what the fuck are you doing here? I got, thought there was a fucking party. All right, see you later. See you tomorrow. So I knew it wouldn't be in the wrong. Then I heard this voice. It was coming through the hallway, and I'm like, oh, my fucking God, I recognize that voice. Please, God. Please, God, don't tell me it's her. Please, God, don't tell me it's her. Don't fucking do it. I walk through the hallway, and uh, I turn the light on, and what do I see? She's face down, ass up, naked as fuck. Oh, yeah. And he's about ready to come in. And fucking insert, because that's the uh, word of the day. Insert her from behind. Yeah, keep coming. So that. I stopped him from either one, them starting to fuck, but I don't know who starts in that position, because I sure in the hell don't. That's my finisher. Slow down a second. I got to I gotta, I gotta undo my zipper. Keep going. <laughs> really some tension. So, <laughs> you finish him. So he's like, Princess. they're about ready to go in. And I, at this point, I'm fucking angry. She looks. Why? Well, one, <laughs> the only thing that kind of made me a, just somewhat content in it is he had a tiny, tiny dick. I mean, it was tiny, and I'm not over exaggerating. It was small. Jake, you got a tiny dick. Yeah. So, <laughs> fuck you, Jake, little dick bitch. Yeah. And he's like trying to cover it with his hand and some shit. I'm like, dude, you don't need your whole hand. But anyway, <laughs> he must have been struggling. She was just probably like, fuck me from behind and see if you can get, you know, hard. I don't know. But she looks up, and I flip on that light, and I freak out, and I go, What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? And she goes, her exact words wasn't, I'm sorry. It was, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What the fuck? 
fuck are you doing here? Get your goddamn pants on. Put some fucking clothes on. What am I doing here? We gotta go home to the kids. Let's go. Fuck. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? That was her words. Not, I'm sorry, baby. What am I doing? Oh, it's not what, what it looks are you like. doing here? I, what, what the fuck are you doing here? Are you staring at her asshole as you as you ask that question? So she, so she had to turn around? She don't even fucking roll over and put her clothes she on. She didn't right even around. roll over? She's still She's bent still over with her ass in the air position. like, what the fuck are you doing here? So this guy's in the corner at the time, scared fucking shitless. And I told him, I'm going to fucking kill you. So I'm running around this white trash fucking trailer. He runs into a side room. Well, I did thought it was a closet. I guess it's a trap door to the bathroom. <laughs> trap door. Trap door. This, what is, say in, 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 this in, is a fucking meth trailer. Yeah, all right? There's no way this, it, this trailer has trash trap doors. Trailer. That's our master bedroom with a walk-in bathroom. <laughs> so he's locked in the bathroom. I'm fucking breaking mirrors, breaking shit, punching holes in the wall. And then I'm screaming at her to get her fucking clothes on still. Like, get out of the position. You're done fucking. It's not, I should have just pulled my pants on and started fucking her in his bed. That would have been, that been that the best ending better. of the and story. And then just left her there. Just fucking left her. So I'm so Stop pissed. resuming position. Now, I would not be able to tell this story earlier because, I mean, it was fucking heartbreaking. And to the moral of the whole thing, I will never, ever, when you tell yourself, oh, I can't wait to catch my woman in the act of cheating. No, don't. You don't want to see that shit. So I just, don't know if anybody ever says, I hope that I walk in no, on my If you know she's cheating, you don't want to see the shit. Dude, it gave me night tears for fucking months. Unless you're married and she's got more money. Oh, yeah. yeah then I want to catch that bitch. I'm rolling in the fucking bed. I'm she on video. She doesn't. You she can't doesn't. get that out of your head. So we leave. We get in the fucking driveway. She finally <laughs> gets her fucking clothes on. <clears throat> and she's still like, I don't know why you're mad. Like, I, I I don't know what to do. I go, I'm fucking done talking to you right now. I just want, I literally want to strangle you, but I can't. I want to bash your fucking head through a window, but I can't. So he walks out, finally puts shorts on, and he's like, I'm sorry, man. She said she wasn't with nobody. I'm sorry, man. I fucking get my head out. Like, we're in a fucking white trailer trash trailer park yeah, right, yeah. and I'm yelling at him you fucking get out here I'm gonna run your fucking ass over you better get back in that fucking house so I don't run him over no, no, I just want to be that's, that's good that's I good. Don't run him over I punched I the steering wheel and any lawyers or judges listening yeah. he did not <laughs> run him over yeah. so I punched the steering wheel and I hit it so hard that the horn stuck so, <laughs> I didn't know this part of the, the story. The whole way knew. home, it's going. <laughs> As if I couldn't get any more yeah. irritated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you're yelling at her. So do the like a horn sound. <laughs> you fucking bitch, I swear to God, get the goddamn horn off. <laughs> it was like that the whole way. It was a 20 minute ride home. I have friends in the back that went with me and they're like, what? There was other people. We're going through town, our hometown, and it's just oh loud as hell. Like we stole in a vehicle. So I drop her off, get my other friend out. So he's in there with his, she's with her friend from high school. And we go back and I said, grab a crow, but we're fucking this dude up. So we go back and we get in the driveway and he goes, if you want, if you're going to do this, you gotta, you, you gotta kill him. You gotta kill him. I go, I oh, do I don't what know if I want to go. Where do you have? I don't know if I want to do that. He goes, no. If you're gonna do it, you fucking kill him. Because we ain't getting out of this. Nice. I go, dude. I don't think we're gonna get out of this if we kill him. This is a real problem. <laughs> yes. So we no, go. No, no. If those. we commit murder, yeah. So we'll we get off scot free. <laughs> so if we, you just fuck him up, there's no chance. So we go because you his, left a witness. So we go to his window. And I'm like, I can't do it. But I screamed at through the window. I know you're in there, bitch. And if I ever see you outside of here, your ass is going to get it. And we left. And I told my friend, I, I thank I you so for coming. Ass. Because if I you weren't here, I don't know what I would have done. And yeah, I, I I'm know. just glad I didn't so, have any weapons or anything on me. Because quick. I probably would have did something when I walked in that room. Real quick, I can't though. get out, though. Why are you here? Real quick. Was this before or after you called her a cunt on a major holiday? Um, definitely before. This is before you. Yeah. So he, he, yeah, I want. I want to. I want to hear. I mean, I have a theory as to why you called her a cunt, and I have a feeling it relates to this story you just told. But I still want to hear it. No, it's it's before, it's no relation. So, um, we were we have like eight Christmases because both our families are divorced. 
Then we got side families that have their own little thing with cousins. So there was eight Christmases, and we were going through, and we're finally fucking, we're just stressed out, got a little one with us, and I want to go to the drive through get some fucking beer, and then drink at my family's side with all my cousins and shit. And she's like, you're really going to fucking spend 20 fucking dollars on beer for all these other people when they could buy their own beer. I go, yeah, it's the fucking holidays. I'm going to do that. He's and, in the giving spirit. Yeah. So she's like, well, we don't have much money. We still got to pay this. Like, it's fucking Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to fucking drink. I just went through seven fucking Christmases. Didn't like any of them. You know how many presents I got? Zero. Oh, actually, I did get two fucking sweatpants and a fucking Ohio State hat from your mom. You know what I gave your mom? A fucking B-dubs gift card. Oh my I, I was going to ask if she gave you herpes for Christmas. It was bad. From someone else. So I'm stressed <laughs> to the max. It was a it was a regift. <laughs> so we're sitting there and I'm like, I want to I'm going home. I'm going home. She's like, oh yeah, I'm going home. I go, you know, you know what? You know what you are? She goes, what? I go, quit being a fucking cunt. She goes, what'd you call me? I said I called you a cunt and, and I felt, fucking and it felt, and it felt good. good. And it, and it felt, felt good. good. I and called you a cunt so, and it felt and good. And we were by a, a cemetery. Yep. And I pulled into the cemetery and I said, get the fuck out. <laughs> I kicked her out on Christmas. Oh, uh, Christmas in, in a cemetery. cemetery. <laughs> and it was her vehicle. Is this, <laughs> is, this, is this the ghost of Christmas future? What the fuck happens next? <laughs> I fucking hate my life the more I talk about this it. Is what hap- <laughs> this is what happens l- if you keep giving people pink eye. This is what happens. Any listeners out there, there was really some good special moments. But there was there's not. There was there far was between. None. No, there's far none. Between. No. Okay, so uh, in, be- in between the pink eye and the cheating and the being a cunt, there were some real gems. There's in there. real <laughs> gems where we shared a cigarette on the porch. Now, um, I I don't. You weren't here. You came in a little bit late. I don't know if you heard about Yale's pretty pretty. Uh, well, he talked about it already. He's on Bumble, and yeah. when you're on like those dating apps or social media apps, whatever the case may be. There's a term called catfishing, and I heard that you got catfished at one point. I, <laughs> I did. I got catfished, and so me and my ex, that what I just explained about, we finally split things off. And I was in a moment, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I need to download something. All my friends are like, download Tinder, man. You're going to get a hot bitch on there. I go, all right, I'll download Tinder. So I download Tinder. No one's swiping. Then another friend of mine said, just keep swiping right, dude. What's the worst going to happen? Yeah, you message it. You just say no. Just keep swiping right. right. You never know what you're gonna miss. So, swipe white right on everybody. Yeah, swipe swipe white. Keep it keep swipe it pure. White. Keep it white. Yeah, yeah keep, keep it, it pure. Keep it right. right. Keep it white. So this girl's face is a she's she was good looking. Like I was sharing, her, I was showing her off. I'm like, fuck I think, yeah. I think Jordan, uh, you you actually saw the picture and I you go, that's not bad. He's like, no, that's not bad, dog. Yeah, no, I was, was, was proud of you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So swiping, but none of the pictures showed a full body. Right, and then I didn't know the term iceberg until after the fact that the fat girls never show their body. It's like yep. chest up. Yeah, they show the top ten percent. Ninety percent is below yeah. the surface. Yep. Yeah. So, and every single picture is taken from a downward angle. Yep. So at this get, point, yeah. I'm the fucking Titanic, and I'm about to fucking crash into an iceberg. Into <laughs> 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 an iceberg of a woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. I go, we got a glow stick party at my friend's house in his basement. And they're like, dude, take her to it. And I go, I want to take her on a date first. I am not for the first time bringing around all my fucking friends. I don't know what this bitch really looks like. So I'm going to think he's ever done. So I'm going to Finley, Kentucky. And uh, so I'm there sitting in the fucking to pick her up. Of course, I'm running late. (laughs) Of course. So I call her. I go, where are you at? I and feel like I, 90% of your life, you're late for yeah, something. Yeah. So, 100%. I'm on Hawaii time, island time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I go past this car and I see this girl on it. And I'm like, oh my God. Please, God, don't let that be the girl. Where are you guys meeting up? Walmart parking lot. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. The white trashest thing you could possibly do. So... I drive by, and I go, where are you at? She's like, I'm in this Jeep Cherokee. I go, where? By that semi-truck? Thinking Next in to my head, like, yeah, <laughs> like, please, God, don't be it. Say no. Say no. Don't be her. <laughs> yes, that's me. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. Never mind. So at this point, I'm contemplating driving home. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have just been like, oh, I think I'm in a different Walmart. But then I'm like, you know what? Her face is cute. Right. I haven't seen her walk out the door yet, so I don't know what the right, bottom right. Okay, so You know what? Know. Her mouth's not fat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but she definitely didn't look like she did in the picture. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I pull up by her car, and I can already start to see. That like, picture was from seventh grade. I could already start to see, like, oh, man, this ain't going to be good when she walks out of this thing. So I look at her. I go. She goes. Where are we going to eat? And I go. I don't know. Uh, let's go to Pizza Barrel. I'm. I'm assuming you need to go to a buffet. Beer Barrel. Beer. Beer Barrel. Not but yeah. Barrel. But they make pizza. You want to go to Golden yeah, yeah, Corral? Yeah, I mean, you yeah. fucking hippo. <laughs> well, I don't closed. know. She's fat yet. <laughs> so we go to. And her words right after that, she's like, "I go follow me." And she's like, "You're not gonna like." Like stuff me in a trunk and take me somewhere, and I go, "What the fuck kind of Tinder dates have you been on?" <laughs> one, you don't look like your fucking picture, bitch. So two, I should be the one that's scared. And Three, why are you saying that? And I'm yeah. a cop. And I'm, and I'm, and, I'm, and said, four, there's no way you're fitting in my fucking that's trunk. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, if I want to abduct you, I'll have to tow a trailer behind me. Body shaming is so horrible, you. So we go to. I used to be fat. I can say this. There's a beer barrel right by this movie theater. We go to it. And I'm sorry I if any of these fat jokes park, offend you, Jordan. I'm really and sorry. And I finally see her get out of the car, and I'm just like, oh, my God. I should be just an asshole and say, this ain't going to work out. Something happened. You could be honest, yeah. Yeah, and just left. But that's not guys. But that's not me. And part of me was like, I'm fucking hungry. I might as well eat. <laughs> because guys are better people than women. Yeah. We're just nicer. I don't true. know if I'm going to pay for her meal. <laughs> but I'm you can't eating. afford to pay for that bitch's meal. Yeah, so I'm gonna fat eat. Tax. Yeah, that's gonna run you eleven hundred dollars. So we go into Beer Barrel and I see this hot ass hostess. Oh, dude. Okay. And now I'm pissed that I'm with this fucking bitch. And then she goes, "What do you want, Booth or Do you table? really think that you would have been able to have the hostess if you weren't walking with the manatee? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, that's in your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in my head. It's processing. Of course. I love ah. the world that you live in. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Didn't Don't you, stop. Didn't you notice a <laughs> Didn't you notice a tag on her shirt first? Yep, yeah, no. It gets to this point. We're okay. here at this moment. So we're sitting in there and she's like booth or table. And I look at her and I go, <laughs> table. She, she's not fitting in a fucking booth. <laughs> table. You gotta adjust your chair table. <laughs> and she and uh, she's like, I I want a booth. I go, no, table table will work fine. Table. Whatever's at this point, actually, whatever's faster. And she goes, well, 30 minutes for a table, 40 for booth. Okay, but and, here here's the problem. If you go to a fucking table, she has to sit on a chair. And will that chair support her it's weight? It's solid wood. It's all But right. when she breaks, I'm out. I don't give a fuck. Dude. That chair breaks, I'm out. She wasn't that fat. Yeah. She wasn't that fat. I'm not like, you guys are picturing guys are I took this fucking how? blue whale in there. Yes, love Shallow Shallow how with fucking Gwyneth Paltrow. What, you, what kind of chair is that made of? Steel? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but so she's in there and I go 30 minute wait I ain't fucking wait 30 minutes with this bitch in the fucking lobby uh uh-uh. uh that is, if she goes 30 minutes without eating she'll fucking die yeah so I'm like you want to go somewhere else and she's like yeah at this point I don't want to go anywhere else but that was my key to saying I'm about to fucking ditch you respectfully bitch <laughs> why don't you respectfully <laughs> I'm about to bail on you completely with no explanation Respectfully. <laughs> so she brings out her cell phone to look up some other places and she lifts her arm up. When she lifts her arm up, I see a tag. The tag is still underneath her armpit and it's swirling there. Now, when you say a tag, you mean like for zoo animals? Like yeah. the tags, mm-hmm. how they tag animals? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. that is not your number talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, like a new shirt. Like yeah, cows, new shirt hippos, yeah, yeah. No, manatees, no, no. zoo animals. <laughs> they, they tag the wildlife to monitor them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was swinging around. I looked, and it said "fucking triple X," and triple X for girls, dude. That's fucking huge. That's massive, yeah. yeah. So apparently, I give her credit because she definitely walked into Walmart, bought a new shirt during the time <laughs> that I was thirty minutes late to impress me. The fact of the matter is, she didn't take the tag. You off. met up in Walmart, and she goes in and shops for a cute outfit before. <laughs> yeah, she had to. Right. There's no way that tag would have still been on there. Right. Right. <laughs> So she was probably going to return point, it after gone. she was done I stretching it out. Never do a Tinder again. Fuck Tinder. Go to Bumble. We're promoting Bumble now. 
Fuck yeah. Bumble, if you want to sponsor this fucking podcast, you absolutely should. Cause this is about guys trying to get laid. Yeah. So I get in the car and I'm driving. I'm trying to get, the, I run through this fucking red light. And you know what she does? She fucking runs right through it too. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping she gets hit. So what the I'm Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Even if you don't want to fuck this girl, you don't want to hope that she gets hit. Well, I'm I'm trying imagine to trying to pry that bitch out of a car. Oh, She's God. fucking dead. That's why they got life jaws. Joseph Hold on. He is, he is, okay, so so I'm trying to ditch her, man. Okay, so this is when you are now calling Jordan so multiple now, times. I'm calling Jordan multiple times, and now he finally answers, and I'll let Jordan take over this part. <laughs> well, I was actually at I was actually at family dinner receiving this. He called me multiple times. I'm ignoring it. I'm at family dinner. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna answer the phone. I ignore it. He fi- I finally answered on like the fourteenth call. He's screaming immediately as soon as I answer the phone. He's like, "I don't, I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do." <laughs> I'm like, "What, what man?" Is like, so I far thought- that sounds exactly like him. All right, go on. <laughs> and all he's saying is, "She's right behind me, man. <laughs> She's right behind me." Like, like that, like his ex is following him, trying like to a, eat him. Like a She's fucking, fucking crazy, like a fucking man. talking about him like it's a fucking T Rex. It's, like, it's right away. behind me. It's right behind me. If I don't move, it won't see me. <laughs> I thought it made it clear that I was done with his date. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's he's trying to like, oh, dude. I'm trying to time up uh, stoplights. Stop I'm I'm flirting. She's going right through him with I'm me. fucking Tokyo <laughs> drifting through fucking lights, man. Seriously, it's so true. And so, she's right behind me with her fucking axle grinding on her wheel well because she's weighing it down so much. <laughs> sparks flying out, but the bitch is keeping up somehow. <laughs> well, I'm proud of him that he decided to call me because I had the perfect. Plan he for did. Him. I was proud of him. Uh, I said, "All right, so if you have to go somewhere, she's not getting. She's not. You're not losing her tail. Um, you have. You got to go to a Mexican restaurant. They, yep. I, if if, I mean, we've all been to Mexican restaurants. They are freaky fast with the food. That's yep. true. Yeah. So Good you point. you have something to munch on, so you don't have to con- have a conversation uh, that much. You can just talk through munching on the chips. So you get that. You order the food. It comes quick. You're about." 30, 35 minutes at the max at, at this date, and then yep. you can and then you can so, pay right after that. So, so Junior, yeah. you're there? I'm there. I'm in the restaurant. Yeah. And I sit down, and I go, what do you want to drink? And she goes, a water. And the guy asked me, and I said, a pitcher of margarita. Because I'm getting fucked up. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I'm having a good time. So now at this point in the date, I just want to make an ass of myself so I don't have that awkwardness of do we kiss or are we going to see each other again? So I order bean dip, and I start... So wait, you're still, after all this, you're still on the fence of whether or not to kiss, or are you going <laughs> to no. see each other again? I don't, well, I don't know where her mind's at. It's definitely yeah, on He doesn't kiss. want to have to turn her down. He's I, just, don't, yeah, I don't want to be the asshole. <laughs> she's but, probably really, really nice. Yeah, yeah. She is, and apparently she's You don't want to be the asshole. You prefer nice to things. look at the asshole. She's a nice lady. And get uh, it all over your eyeball. So I dip my hands in the bean dip. And I'm eating bean dip. Wait, just hold on. This is this isn't a sex thing. This is no, actual I'm just bean dip. Doing it. I'm trying okay, to be okay, okay. so fucking nasty that she, at the end of the day, to this date, never wants to see me again. So I'm dipping my hands in dip. I'm fucking. She orders food. She orders like this, like two little tiny tacos. And I said, "Really? That's all you're gonna eat? I know you can eat more than that." Oh, you did say that to I her. I did say that. And Ooh, what she was goes, her response? Her response was, "Well, I just really don't." I'm not hungry right now. I go, that's fine. So I ordered a bunch of food. And I'm just fucking stuffing my face, eating with my fingers. And then she didn't eat. And I said, are you going to box that up? Because if you're not, I'll eat that right now. And like, I got Sweating the whole time. And her fucking like that little nasty salad they get you, the little beans and rice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's a terrible side. I just want rice. So I'm eating with my fingers in that. And then I'm just being so rude to her. And after we leave, she... She fucking messages me literally five minutes after we leave the parking lot and says that was the best date I've ever been on and I can't wait to see you again. She she was us. she was happy that he was a fucking pig during the meal because yeah. he felt because she's a literal pig. <laughs> no, she because, was hiding it or something. Because he because it made her seem like he was comfortable because he was comfortable uh, enough in front of her to just be relaxed. It's the best day I've ever been on because you're so open and honest and you just yeah. own who you are. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly a fat pig. Yeah. And I feel like us pigs belong together. 
So the moral of the story, I was the Titanic and it sunk. I hit an iceberg and it was Every bad. story Junior tells ends with a moral. Hey, <laughs> so... <laughs> with a guy with no morals. So, Every story <laughs> Junior, I'm you... I'm chugging uh, Crown Royal right now, too, by the way. You can't see me. Also, this is the third time I've seen you in the last month and a half, and three out of three times you've been wearing that same exact <laughs> fucking t-shirt. <laughs> And the sleeve is torn off on one side. It's faded. That's from Why kittens. are you holding That's on to that kittens. shirt so I was definitely. actually wearing this shirt the night when Jake killed that cat. That's kittens. Her so you're telling claw. me that I'm kittens. Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Hey, didn't you have a... Uh, no way I fit in that shirt. Speaking of fat chicks, didn't you have a friend that fucked a fat chick at, like, oh, at your place or something? Oh, my God. Yes. This is so recent. This happened like a month ago. Oh, my God. So this fat bitch, her name is... I'm not even going to say her name no. because I think there Let's is someone that, that might fucking listen to this. Okay. So uh, so there's this fat bitch. She's at my house, and I'm with the girl that I ate ass, and I got pink eye from, too. Mm-hmm. She's there, too, because they're friends. And she kicked all the rest of her friends out because I'm thinking, oh, fuck yeah, I'm getting laid. Fuck yeah. Again, and this time I ain't getting peak eye. So I tell fucking my you friend. Hope. Yeah, I tell my friend Dustin, I go, hey, man, you got to take a grenade tonight. He goes, what do you mean? I go, you have to fucking take a grenade tonight. He goes, I ain't fucking her. I go, oh, yeah, you are. I don't care what you do with her, but you take her to that back room and you fuck her. The room that you call the room. I don't room. care what you do to her. But you take her to the back room and fuck her. Yeah. I don't care what <laughs> happens in there, but distract her. I don't know. I don't Feed care her. what happens Feed in there her. as long as there is insertion. <laughs> Do something with her that's going to buy me time that she's not cock blocking. Then this hot chick is sleeping with the fat bitch just to be friends. I don't know. The want hot that. chick is sleeping with the fat bitch? Like, yeah. like just. To cock block. Oh, you know, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Dustin, I got some you. cigarettes and we're out there smoking. And he goes, okay, I'll fucking do it. But you owe me breakfast in the morning. I go, dude, I will buy you anything in the morning if you fucking take her away. He goes, all right. So he takes her away. She's running the shit. She's ripping fucking tile off my goddamn fucking island top running. She was a big girl. Did she knocking me off place? She's fat. She was fatter than the girl I just did the Tinder date on. So he's down and depressed. So he's back in this room fucking her. And I get the girl I want in my room. And she's half naked, and we're doing, I'm trying, and she's like, fucking backs her ass up into me to spoon, and I'm like, are we going to do this, or? If a girl's backing her ass up to spoon, she knows she And she's half it. naked, yeah. yeah. So then you, I, I start to like, You always tell like, if you press it towards them, and then they arch their back and press back with their ass, you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, okay, this yeah, is yeah. happening, this is happening, okay. So that's what I was getting off. So I was trying then make a move. You were getting off already? You haven't even started having sex? I was trying to get it to make a move. And she's like, no, I don't want to do this. I just want to sleep. I go, oh, why did you back? I mean, you just want to cuddle? We ain't fucking cuddling. Like, what the fuck? Not in this house. It's 5 a.m. We ain't cuddling. So instantly (laughs) she gets up. She gets mad. She gets up. So I get up. I said, That's going to be my go-to phrase now whenever I don't agree with something. It's like, I think we should get talking about, fucking 5 a.m. We don't fucking get talking about fucking 5 a.m. <laughs> so we get up, and then she's like, where's my friend? And she says her name. And I go back in the room with Dustin. And she goes back there, tiptoes, and hears. And she goes, oh, my God, I think they're fucking. And then I listen. I go, oh, my God, I think they are fucking. Mm-hmm. So now Dustin is taking a grenade, and I'm not even getting laid. <laughs> so it's a waste of a grenade. <laughs> And I, I should have walked in and said, dude, abort mission. But I'm like, dude, I'm not getting it. laid. Abort, abort, abort. And he's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I just let it happen. Yeah. So he comes out and we're. You smoking. monster. <laughs> so we're smoking and he goes. So you're, so you're telling me you didn't fuck? <laughs> and I go, no, dude. Kind of still disappointed. He goes, oh, you're disappointed. (laughs) You're disappointed? Do you know what I just went through? I go, dude, I have no clue. What'd you do? And he goes, I fucked her thighs for three minutes before I realized it wasn't her pussy. He goes, she's so fat. That ain't a grenade. God damn, that was a tank. He goes, I fucked a tank. And I go, what'd you do? He goes, well, I I didn't fucking put my dick in her. Because I was fingering her, and after I got one in, I fucking did another, and then I did another, and then next thing you know, I'm fisting her, and she had the audacity to ask me, let's put another one in. He's like, bitch, I don't have any more fingers! I'm out! (laughs) True story! True story! 
And I laughed so I spit my beer out last so hard. And I'll never forget that to the day I die. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into that episode. If you enjoyed it, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of our upcoming videos. And if you didn't like it, then don't share it. Don't. I don't give a shit. You think I need your fucking support? We we do. We totally need your support. Please please share this.